Investing in the financial market is a strategy many individuals and businesses employ to grow their wealth. The two most common types of investments are stocks and bonds. While they may seem similar, they are fundamentally different in many ways. This article will delve into the main difference between a stock and a bond, providing a comprehensive understanding of these two investment vehicles. The basics of stocks and bonds. Before we delve into the differences, it's important to understand the basics of what stocks and bonds are. Both are types of investments that allow individuals and businesses to potentially earn a return on their money. However, the way they work and the risks and rewards associated with them vary significantly. Stocks, also known as shares or equities, represent ownership in a company. When you buy a stock, you become a shareholder in the company, which means you own a piece of the company and have a claim on its assets and earnings. Stocks are typically bought and sold on stock exchanges, such as the New York Stock Exchange or the NASDAQ. Bonds, on the other hand, are essentially loans made by investors to entities like corporations or governments. When you buy a bond, you are lending money to the issuer in exchange for periodic interest payments and the return of the principal amount at the end of the bond's term, also known as its maturity date. The main difference between a stock and a bond, ownership vs debt. The primary difference between a stock and a bond lies in what they represent, ownership versus debt. When you purchase a stock, you are buying a piece of ownership in a company. This ownership comes with certain rights, such as the right to vote on company matters and the potential to share in the company's profits through dividends or capital appreciation. Conversely, when you purchase a bond, you are essentially lending money to the issuer. You do not gain any ownership rights in the company or government that issued the bond. Instead, you receive interest payments over the life of the bond and the return of the principal amount when the bond matures. Risk and return. Another key difference between stocks and bonds is the level of risk and potential return. Stocks are generally considered riskier than bonds. This is because the return on stocks is not guaranteed and their value can fluctuate significantly. However, with this higher risk comes the potential for higher returns. Bonds are generally considered less risky than stocks. This is because the issuer of a bond is obligated to pay back the principal amount plus interest. However, while bonds are generally safer, they also typically offer lower returns than stocks. Choosing between stocks and bonds. When it comes to choosing between investing in stocks or bonds, it largely depends on your financial goals, risk tolerance, and investment timeline. Stocks may be a good choice for those who are willing to take on more risk in the hopes of achieving higher returns and who have a longer investment timeline. Bonds, on the other hand, may be a better choice for those who prefer a more stable and predictable return or who are nearing retirement and need to preserve their capital. It's also worth noting that many investors choose to have a mix of both stocks and bonds in their portfolio to balance risk and return. Understanding the main difference between a stock and a bond is crucial for anyone looking to invest in the financial market. While both can be valuable additions to your investment portfolio, they offer different levels of risk and return and serve different purposes. By understanding these differences, you can make more informed investment decisions that align with your financial goals. Remember, investing always comes with risks, and it's important to do your own research or consult with a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Happy investing.